Welcome, listeners, to another episode of the show. I am your host with the most, Chris Talks. Hope that you are having a beautiful day, because I am definitely having a beautiful one. All right, y'all? That is so loud. We got to figure out a way to turn that down. All right, folks. So let's get into our topic for this episode, which I am deeming don't call me black. All right, y'all? Don't call me black. You heard, Big Bird? All right. Um, what's up, Silent Ed? How you doing, man? Everybody welcome, Silent Ed. <sighs> How you doing, Silent Ed? What's going on? All right, everybody. Uh, I am dubbing this episode, Don't Call Me Black. And I'm going to tell you about a personal experience that I have had myself because I don't like to be called black or a black person and I'm gonna tell you why but before I do that I'm gonna um I'm gonna give you a quick uh give you a quick run through of the story in the situation okay so um this is how it goes I was walking my kids to school one day and um like me myself as a parent I don't teach my kids um that people are black or white. I teach my kids that people have melanin. Some people have more melanin than the others. Some people have more pigmentation than others. But um, the only thing on your body that's black is your hair. That's truly black is your hair. So I don't teach my children that uh, about people. So uh, straight to the story, I dropped my kids off one day and they are discussing And one of my kids had said something, something. And one of my kids turned around and said, Daddy, right, I'm not black. Right, I'm not black. I just have melanin. I just have melanin. And then I said, yeah, you're not black. You just have melanin. Now, to skip up to it, I'm walking. um, After I drop my kids off, um, I'm coming to the studio. So before I get to the studio, one of the parents overheard me say that so they stop me and says asks me why do you teach your kids that are you not proud of your blackness can you believe that she asked me if i'm not proud of my black bruh <sighs> but i had to let her know uh real quick why i teach my kids that you know what i mean because i do not identify myself as a black person um and i had to give this woman a little bit of history real quick on why nobody should be identifying themselves as a black person you know what i mean i mean it's up to you if you if you feel comfortable with that that's on you but me i don't so before that, well that was uh, um that was the story right there Bruh. well no, i mean it was some of the I'm not good at telling stories, really. But, you know, that was some of the story. And uh, then I'll explain to you. We got to pay the bills, right? Yeah. After we pay the bills, I'll explain to you what I said. I'm not going to do the whole conversation, but I'm explaining to you what I said and why I said it. All right. If y'all like this content and want to hear more of it, um, y'all know what to do. Hit us up on our social media platforms. Hit that uh, subscribe notifications and like button. Hit the notification so you get um, notified every time I put up a new video. We usually do it about what at least three times a week, right? Three to four times a week, we'll put up a video about something that's going on. All right. So, um, yeah, check out our Facebook page also where we put up uh, motivational, inspirational uh, content, you know, to help you through your day. And we did that one good. Didn't we, Ed? Yeah, we dropped that delivery good. All right, so let's get back to the story. All right, so this is why. This is what I explained to the lady. Why I did not identify as black. But before I tell you why I don't identify as black, I'm going to let Sarah, my AI, I'm going to let her. Just give you the definition of 
the color black where is this from this is from webster no w- wikipedia well I, it's the same thing i want to let her give you the definition of what black is can you hit that from me Ed, please black is a color that results from the absence or complete absorption of visible light it is an achromatic color without hue like white and gray now that's the definition of black now let me just drop a little history on y'all real quick okay for y'all who don't know let me drop a little history on y'all about the color black well let me drop a bomb one drop it again there we go all right this is why i don't think anybody should be um agreeing to be called black first of all you're not black like i said black is a color it's just like your hair your hair is black some people might agree with me some people might not it's up to you you know everybody's entitled to their own opinion this is my opinion i am not here to change anybody's uh mind or anything like that so i'm I, that's just a little disclosure for y'all i'm not here to change nobody mind i'm just explaining my view of being called a black person okay and why i don't like it okay so let me continue now as far as i am do it again and, and, and you are so fired anyway as far as i'm concerned uh when we first became slaves when us people of color first became slaves one of the ways that they identify one one of the first ways that they identified us was calling us a black okay now we all know the um caucasians came over and uh did what they did or whatever whatever okay now when that happened they referred to us as black that's how it went black we were black and then we became black people you understand what i'm saying i just want y'all to get that understanding there no i'm dead serious listen i'm about to educate you real quick and i'm about to educate you on um our darkness history okay i'm about to educate you real quick so during that time that's what we, we were referred to okay now before that time okay in africa we dark-skinned people manlin people identified ourselves from tribes that we were from and from um different parts of the land that we were from when they when the caucasians took us from our land during that slave trade you understand during that time and this is look it up throughout you do your own research throughout that history of time they stole our identity when they stole our identity they replaced it and what they did was they replaced it with their own way to identify us which was calling us by the color of our skin okay now throughout history they have the, the caucasians yes i'm gonna say that the caucasians have changed our names plenty of times i'm dead serious and i'll give you a little from from my knowledge of it i, I can give you a little rundown i'm gonna give you a, a few of them uh yeah we call black black people then we would call uh dark skin we would call darkies at one time we would call darkies then became the um n-word and negro and all that stuff when it came to the uh the states yeah then it then it all changed and now we are being called african americans i'm gonna let that sit for one second now how many times they changed the name now for me personally i don't identify with 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 none of those names i would not like to be called none of those none of those names at all none of them at like seriously at like 
at all. Message. I'm serious. I would rather be preferred to as a melanin. As a matter of fact, I'd rather you just call me a dark skinned person than to be calling me black or something like that. Yeah, I have to understand. This is just to my listeners. This is my opinion. In my opinion, you have to understand. My opinion is that during slavery and during these times, they sat there, they gave us these names, they stole our culture, um, sat there, uh, destroyed our history, took our history away from us, destroyed our history, uh, took our culture, revamped it into their own little thing. Yes, this is what the Caucasians did at that time. Yes, this is what they did. And this this happened so long ago. But what bothers me is why are we still using these words that were used to um, as words of hate to define us? Like, why, why do we still use that? Message. And then it's so common. Like us as uh, people with melanin, you know what I'm saying? We are so used to be being called black. We are the only group of humans that really are defined j- j- just by color. And I, I'm going to get into that in a second. I know what you're about to say. I, I'm going to get into that in a second. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, if you go anywhere around the world, if you go, to, you don't, you, you don't hear the, the, the Chinese doing that. You, you don't see Chinese people doing that. You don't see, and you don't see these different uh, races and cultures doing that. We melanin people, we are the only people that have taken words that are used to put us down and dog us take it and then use it as a way to redefine ourselves and then want to be respected for it well well let me take that back not well what yeah respect it but also accept it i'm not going to take that back but also accept it we want to be accepted and respected but we are sitting here using tools that were meant to segregate us from the rest of the um the, the races and cultures in the world and i had said this earlier to you and I, I told you i said if you speak to any person of color okay any person with melanin that's from africa they're going to tell you either what tribe they're from are um what part of the land that they're from and i and i test any of my listeners if you know somebody i know somebody that knows somebody that is from any foreign you could try africa but any foreign land i would prefer a darker person but i mean you do what you want to (laughs) do but any foreign land they're going to tell you the part of that land that they're from Okay, and that's how they identify themselves. And that's how us of color, that's how we used to identify ourselves. But when when they stole our history, at no point did we try to go get it back. At no point do we try to um, go to our roots. Even though our roots are right there, we never go there. Well, not all of us, some of us. And I don't understand it. It's just this one particular group of people. Because at the end of the day, I've always said this. At the end of the day, we are all human beings. Until we see that, all we're going to see is color. All we're going to see is color, race, uh, status, and all this other BS. That's not important. But that's all we're going to really see. It's color. I mean, when you go to other countries and, and stuff like that, they see you as an American. They don't go, look at the black African guy. 
they, yo, look at that tall black African guy. No, they go, they go look at the American. They go look at the American. They don't even start it off with black, cause it it doesn't matter. And I'm dead serious. When you travel to other countries, it doesn't matter what color you are. Only thing they see is an American. That's it. Why? Just think about it. Because they are they are identifying you by the land that you come from. Why? Because that's how they that's how they come up. That's how they come up. And if you look in the history, you'll find out where they got that from. They got that from people with some melanin, some with some color in their skin. That's where they got that from. Because I tell, I tell people all the time, and and um, I also had that little disagreement with somebody else because. I ain't going to get into that one. But um, my thing is, I would ask all my listeners this. If you saw a black person, a real black person walking down a bar, I'm talking about the color of your hair. Uh, what are those things? What are those suits that y'all, y'all was talking about? Um, what, are the, um, what is it? Dominate, dom- is that, am I saying it right? Dominatrix? Am I saying it right? Okay, and those one those those little dominatrix suits with the zip in the front. Yeah. So if you saw somebody walking down the block and that color, that's black. That color, you would probably freak out. I'm being dead serious. <laughs> it's it's just yo, it's the same thing to me. It's the same thing with non-meddling people. Listen, some of us have color to our skin. Some of us don't. But it does not make us less at all. Because at the end of the day, we're all human beings. All of us are human beings. We're, we are all part of one species. And until the, we, we get to that point where we can see that, we're always going to have these stupid issues about black white, green, gray, orange, and all that stuff. But until we get to that point, don't call me black, man. Don't don't call me black. <laughs> and, and I'm just keeping it real. Just don't call me black. Because to me, the way that it, the way that that word has been used in history to define people of color is not good. So I don't want to go under that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be under that hood. I don't. And I'm 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 just keeping it real. I'm I have never met a black person in my life. Ever. I've met people who are dark, who got some color, but I have I have haven't ever in my life met a black person. <laughs> I don't know why that was funny. That that's true. I met people with melanin, but I I don't. Mm-mm. If you in the color of your hair, which most melanin people have, they have black hair. So if you and your black hair are exactly the same color, then yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, you black. <laughs> I I want to meet you. Shoot, I would love to meet you. I I would like to meet somebody like that. If they look human, I won't run. <laughs> it's like if they really look human, I won't run. But if they look like some other crap, I, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. In now, now let me get all the serious though. Now, to me, what 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 I think a uh, a lot of people should probably do, including myself. Is try to if you can. I mean, they got that. What's that? I forgot the name of that little app thing or whatever. Try to trace your heritage or where you came from, or whatever. You know, back to your family, back to your roots. If you have some melanin people in your family, then you know, trace it back to then or whatever. I mean, during slavery, a lot of stuff got mixed up, but 
it is what it is. You know what I mean? It is the truth. It is what it is. But me, I, 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 as a person of color, I try my best because I'm not perfect, but I try my best not to use uh, the N word. Like, you know, because I, I be trying my best not to call nobody. In, you know what I mean? But sometimes it slip. You know what I'm saying? And I try my best not to call my fellow melanin people black. Because that that's just my view and um how I see it. And to me, if you are out there and some people, you are definitely going to get offended by what I am about to say. Bruh. Why you do that to me, man? But you are. But this is just my view, in my opinion. I'm not trying to start nothing, okay? I'm not trying to start nothing. I'm making that perfectly clear. But in my view and in my opinion, if you are out there and you are identifying yourself as a black person, can we bring up, where is that definition for um, a black person? Can you Can we bring that up? Okay, so what is this? Collins? Collins, right? So this is the Collins, uh, Collins Dictionary. Right? This is Collins Dictionary. All right? This is their definition of a black person. All right, pull that up for me real quick. I'm going to read it. I'm going to just read the first one. A black person belongs to a race of people with dark skin, especially a race from Africa. That's that's this definition of a black person. That's what their definition is. Now, can you see that? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you? Message. Do you get it? Do you get how they are sitting there and defining just a race of people like that with a color, a color that you can find in, um, what was that? You can find this color in, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, Creon. There we go. Crayon box. You can find that color in the crayon box. Now, I want to ask you this, people, all my listeners. Can you find Chinese in the crayon box? Can you find... I'm asking. I'm just keeping it real. Can you find... Can you find Chinese in... I want to know that. Can you find Japanese in the crayon box? Okay, can you find Chinese? Can you find Indian? And No. Better yet, Arabs. Can you find can you find an Arab Creon inside of a color we're about? <laughs> but you can find a black crayon in the coloring box, which is the color they use to define us. I want that to let let that mellow for a hot second. See to me. You're going to hate this if you're out there running around doing that, okay? And you're calling yourself black and you're calling yourself, um, uh, are you calling yourself African-American? Are you calling yourself all these different names? You are messing up. You are completely f***ing up. You are sitting there fighting against being called this and being recognized. And at the same time, you are entertaining it because you're using it. You're using it. You're walking around and this is happening amongst us melanin. Most guys call each other, right? This was a word. 
that was used to put us down. Right? It became part of a culture. How? How? I'm just, you do not see Spanish people walking around saying, yo, what up, my You know what I'm saying? You don't see that. You don't. You don't see white people, uh, what we define as white people, but Caucasians walking around saying, yo, what up? You know what I mean? We are the only group of people that took words that were used to put us down and we normal normalized it into it's an everyday thing and it is part of our culture and our language. So if you are part of that, you, to me, you're dumb. How are you helping your oppressor? Because that's what so many people think, right? That's what it said. It said the Caucasian uh, uh, oppressed us, right? So how are you helping the Caucasian to continue to oppress you? And as a rate, as a culture and race, you are asking for respect. You're asking to be acknowledged and for respect. Bruh. Message. Yeah, I hope they got it. Message. I hope they got it. And I really hope that they did. Because you, if you do that, you're part of the oppression that you're fighting against. You're helping your own oppressor. So that's that's done. What we need, in my opinion, what we need to be on is to remove these type of things from our homes. We need to get the fathers back into the homes. But we need... At, at some point, we need to change the fathers as well and their way of thinking to empower their kids. We, in my opinion, like back in the back in the days, those were the best days. And I'm not saying during slavery it was the best days. I'm not. I'm not saying it was the best. I'm saying is. People of color were much stronger. They stuck together more. They wasn't as separated as they are now. They wasn't. All right. So um, that's my personal story. That's my view and my opinion on that. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Sorry, my bad. Thanks a lot for doing that for me, bro. All right, uh, to all my listeners, I mean, y'all let me know. Hit me in the comment section and let me know what you think. That's just my view and my opinion on it. But let me know if you agree or disagree with that. All right, so we about to get up out of here, right? Yeah, we about to get up out of here. All right, so let's get up out of here. Listen, I want to thank all my listeners for tuning in. You have you could have been anywhere else in the world, but you are here with me, and I so, so appreciate that. Also, stay blessed and not stressed, y'all. Until the next episode, I will see you guys later. Peace out.